Brian! 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear you over my Raycons. Go to buyraycon.com slash rogue, get 15% off your first order. All right, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to run. Two professional builders, two professional idiots, sharp objects, beanie babies. This is Toys Made Dangerous. Jason Murphy, how many years have you been dreaming of this exact moment? It's my life's work, Brian. It's, it, your dream is coming true. Yes. Uh, okay, explain to me the concept as you guys understand it, because it seems to me like we're doing like, I would say an evil version of Shark Tank, but Shark Tank is already evil. Hey, there could be two evil shows. Okay, it's <laughs> fine. Enough. Fair enough. We are each going to pick some of these toys and turn them into deadly weapons. Okay, so ground rules. I'm assuming there has to be a time limit. How long do we want to give ourselves on this? 15? I'm down. Yeah. No nuclear munitions. Okay. Okay, while we're at it, no biological weapons. Ah, I, I, come I, I, on! I'm going. 15 minutes. Well, now I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now normally there's like a host and a judging round, but we're gonna turn that on its ear, right? Like the folks at home are gonna be our judges and they'll vote by poll what they like. And then eventually I suppose we'll have to test these out, right? That's right. Yeah. Since we don't have a host, Siri. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Oh, oh she's already uh, going. <laughs> Sorry, we're on, we're oh, on, we're let's doing go. It? No, it's happening, okay. I mean, a hammer, you yeah. could just. Yep. I wanna shoot. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna make a hammerhead. Where'd the football go? Oh, it's on the ground. Oh. Cause somebody was playing with the toys instead of turning them into weapons. <laughs> There you go. I wonder if I could make this shark shoot another smaller shark out of its mouth. Do we have any of the stink spray? Oh, yeah. God. Oh, man. I, That's I, biological. I don't know. I don't no know. Corey. <laughs> I'm just afraid we're all just going to make knives out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Ow. Look, I love these guys. I would trust them with almost anything, except for my children or my safety or anything sharp. I fear they might be overthinking this. A wiffle ball and a bat may not look like much, but at the end of the day, this is just a bat waiting to be a badder ass bat. Can I say ass bat on the internet? And we are at four minutes down. All right. Is thermite okay? Is thermite okay? No. It's not nuclear. It's not on the table. Well, I mean. Well, okay. Thermite, okay. I don't know. All right. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done on the internet. Oh, okay. No? There were no rules established saying that I could not use thermite, so. I. Uh, it sucks. I'm going to have to appeal to the judges, or maybe a round two. I could do a lot of things with uh, some thermite, or, oh, we have potassium nitrate. I'll be right back. It's probably a bad thing about drilling towards your hands. Yep, I uh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's fine. I got a hole now. I, I don't know what Rushwood's thinking. French fries in his nose was a weapon? Right. So the trick is, everybody discounts the wiffle ball bat because it's so light. You just add some heft to it. A little bit of sand, some rocks, maybe some stabby, jabby things. Shouldn't do this next to my wife's art. Oh, I smell rainbows. Oh my God. I don't know why I have to do this. This is just taking up all of my time. So, you know what? I'm done. There's your interview. We don't have sand, do we? Oh, I was about to say, we have sugar. Uh, yeah, he's covered. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar's gonna work good. That's the sweetest weapon I've ever seen, man. <laughs> got a dad joke Don't you? I got a dad joke I quit. Anyway, Both patronizing and this. patronizing. It's a uh, <laughs> double dad combo. 
Yeah, that's not looking great. <laughs> I don't want to attract all the ants. This is how you get ants. <laughs> oh. mm. They're not going to know what hit them. Mm. Siri, how much time is left? I mean, look at that. It's the only choice. Do the right thing. Now in it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You stop it. <laughs> what do you mean include the question in my answer? That doesn't make any sense. He's gonna hit this one out of the park. You don't, don't! <laughs> I get to do the dad jokes. Uh, Neither of you. Uh, Neither of you get to do dad jokes. I don't know. Maybe one of us. I bet you Jason jacks this one up. Don't! Okay, no, now, wow. now! I'm with Jason. Stop it. Stop him. Also, nobody touch the jack in the box. Seriously. I feel like I've unwittingly done one of those pocket puzzles. Okay, okay, okay. Yikes. Siri says two minutes. Hmm. Hold on. Finger gloves. Sure. Check those out. Yep. Oh my god, I think he screwed it up. Don't! Don't! <laughs> I got him again. No one will be making dad jokes when I present my weapon. No one will be making dad jokes. <laughs> Too much. What? So I went in all this trouble to make brass knuckles, but I think probably the best would have been just dumping these out on the ground. I don't know why I went into all that effort. Are, are you like done? Oh yeah, I've been done for a while. God, that scares me. Almost, almost. Whew. Yeah, thread the needle on that one. Don't, no, on principle at this point, <laughs> the answer is no, don't. Don't screw it up, Jason, you might whiff on that one. Stop! <laughs> Turns out this is his actual <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Bad pun. Bad. Dad jokes, weaponized dad jokes. It is. <laughs> Corey needs to be punished. <laughs> no, stop! You're one of them! <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm really disappointed that nobody's taking this seriously. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. Lethal ordinance coming through, okay. So wiffle ball bat, like no mass, right? No heft, no pain. This has so much heft, like what, uh, three, four pounds? And it's got the jabby pokies that have gone through it. I just need to seal everything off so that it doesn't lose all of its sugar inside. But come on, tell, tell me that won't end you. Yeah. We do a bad show, we're bad people. I got two of them. Aren't you an overachiever? 20 seconds! Everybody done? Are you good? Are you happy? I'm very happy. Those are two very different questions I just realized. Here we go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now we gotta do like our big presentation thing, right? That's right. We should do like an awesome TV set, right? Uh, awesome TV set, go. I'm Brian Brushwood, inventor of the sweetest science. They say that boxing is the sweetest science. They're wrong. Because last time I checked, 100% of the time, the first time you hit someone in the head, they don't die. So obviously, we've made an improvement. This is a wiffle ball bat filled with nearly three pounds of sugar, sealed in duct tape with a lot of screws put through it. You don't wanna be on the wrong end of the stick. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I nailed that one. Vote for me. Hi, I'm Corey Diamond Hands Cranfill, the inventor of dad jokes and also the ouchie glove. Parents, you know, if you have ever, ever stepped on one of these, you know how painful it is. That's why this is the number one most painful, deadliest toy ever created. Vote for this and we'll never let go of the number one spot. God damn it, Corey! No, no, no! Sorry, you do you know, with the dad jokes. Boo! I'm Jason Murphy, inventor of the misery box. Contained within are a number of party poppers loaded 
with deadly capsaicin powder. It will release a cloud into the air if you are at an annoying children's party or just want to terrorize the people of Gotham. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate it right now. No, 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 now, if you're gonna complain about them being all strung up like this, maybe you should have checked my eBay postings. Anyway, they're just some beanie babies strung together with a little bit of fence wire. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, can I dispel a rumor here? Raycons are filled with joy, not anger. They are high quality earbuds that don't cost you an arm and a leg. They're beautiful, deep, rich bass, and not whatever you thought they were. Sorry, I'm talking to Doug. He called them Ragecon once, and I was like, that's not, that's not a thing. But he was very angry. Then he punched me. It was really weird. And I said, Doug, stop hitting me. Don't you understand? Raycons are the best earbuds on the planet. They're so comfortable. They're cozy. They fit in your pocket. You're going to love how your favorite artists sound. Oh, yeah? Like who? Like Snoop Dogg. Who else? Melissa Etheridge. And I fell over and I crumpled into a heap. So this is to you, Doug. They're called Raycons, and they mean one thing. Sensibly priced, high quality sound. Where can you get them? Sorry, I was afraid he was here. Where can you get them? You get them at buyraycon.com slash rogue. That's where you get 15% off. Now, if you don't mind, Doug, I'm gonna listen to my sweet tunes on my earbuds, because they're my real buds. People who hit me, they're not my buds. They're bullies. All right, while well, Brian's distracted, let me add a couple points. I'm new to this whole Raycon thing, and let me tell you, I'm never going back. Not to my old earbuds that I had to jam in my ears every time I wanted to turn them on. With Raycon, you just open them up and they're on and connected and you could keep them on for up to six hours. And my last pair, beige. I'm not going shopping for a computer in the early 90s. So now I have a sexy red pair of Raycons and I just thought all of you should know that. Oh, looks like Brian has something more to add. All right, stop what you're doing and go to buyraycon.com slash rogue. You get 15% off your first order. Sensibly priced, deep, rich bass. It's a real song I just invented. I'm not making up anything copyrighted. I'll drink up all the Raycons you got on your shelf. How did you liquefy these Raycons? Oh, damn, girl. You got liquefied Raycons. Offer and link in the description below. I, I have a part B for yours, if you want. It's the, the wiffle bat and the wiffle ball. Here's what terrifies is whatever it is you did, you had enough time left over and enough confidence in it that you built me a second. Yeah, man. Go out there and kill it. I don't you know. got it. Seems like there's lots of holes in that idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> Clean the set. 